Cantor Audio, a division of Recorded Books, presents Shaken, Young Reader's Edition, Fighting to Stand Strong No Matter What Comes Your Way, by Tim Tebow, with A.J. Gregory. Narrated by Adam Verner. Introduction I'm grateful for the life experiences I've had, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Sure, I've had my ups and downs. As I've done things a little bit differently, the world has tried to force me onto a roller coaster of identities. It has tried to tell me who I am based on my circumstances. Was my identity found in the highs when I won the Heisman Trophy? Or later, when the Denver Broncos were making a playoff run? No. Was my identity found when, a year later, I was cut from the team? No. When I'm on top of my game, it seems everyone loves and respects me. But when I'm at the bottom of the heap, I get criticized and torn down. You know what I've learned through all this? How important it is not to allow either the highs or the lows in life to determine who you are. It's tempting to define ourselves or to measure our worth by what we see on the outside. By how we look, by how athletic we are by how much money we have, by what others say about us. The list is long. Think about this. Who you are when everything is going great, when you're acing your classes, when you're winning the games, when you're part of the in-crowd, when your home life is picture-perfect. Now think about who you are when your world is shaken, when you're barely passing your exams, when you don't make the team, when your parents are fighting like crazy, when your boyfriend or girlfriend just broke up with you, when you just can't push that sadness away. Sometimes it takes a challenging time to really find out who you are. While many know about my career highs, few know the details about the lows, like having to learn that God's plans are better and bigger than mine, or feeling torn about the future, or dealing with my dreams being shattered after getting cut from three NFL teams. I admit, writing this book hasn't been easy. It was tough to relive some painful moments. But I'm so grateful to share with you what I've learned. I've realized that who I am has nothing to do with wins or losses, praise or rejection. It has to do with whose I am, whom I belong to. Knowing this, I can live out what a king from ancient Israel wrote in Psalm 16, verse 8. Sample complete. Ready to continue?